Hello Leo, hope you're all doing well. We're gonna be doing a reading today all about your person. What are they thinking or feeling about you? What messages do they have for you? And what are their intentions for the future? So let's jump right into the reading for Leo. Spirit angels, messages, promise, guidance. For Leo, what does Leo need to know about this person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? For Leo. What are they thinking, feeling about Leo? What are they thinking about Leo? How do they view Leo at this time? Two of Swords, undecided, guarded, stuck. What do they think about Leo? How do they view Leo at this time? Judgment. Leo, interesting. I'm, I'm picking up almost like you are very guarded against this person. Or undecided about having a second chance with them. It's like you're not really sure if you want to give this another try. Or you're not really sure if you want to open up to this person. Yeah, there's the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is kind of how I'm picturing you. Um, there's fears. There's anxieties here. When it comes to this individual. What messages do they have for Leo? What messages do they have for Leo? Three of Pentacles, working together, collaborating, teamwork. What messages do they have for Leo? And the Magician. So this is somebody that wants to make something happen here. Maybe they want to work on things. Maybe they're trying to show you that they're willing to put in energy, effort into something. What are their intentions for the future? What are their intentions for the future? The Hermit, Virgo energy to plan. Mm. Keep their distance. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this person, um, it's interesting because I feel like they, they're they sensing that you are very guarded against them. But at the same time, I can see why you would be like that. Because I feel like this person's very standoffish, keeps a distance, isn't really being forthcoming. I feel like this is someone that's keeping something to themselves here. Maybe they don't want to discuss something specific. Maybe they are sneaking around behind someone's back. I feel like this is somebody that hasn't been completely upfront about something and, and won't be in the future because this is their intentions for the future is to continue this energy here. What's this person's overall energy? What are what's their overall energy spirit? What is their overall energy? What is their overall energy towards Leo? Taking action, movement, action, courage, and then deep regret. Interesting, I feel like this is somebody that's willing to show you, hey, I'm serious about you, I'm serious about working things out. I understand why you're standoffish, but at the same time, they're doing it on their terms. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's get some clarity about these energies. Tell me more about these energies, please. For this person that Leo is thinking about or connecting with. So how do they view you? Two of Swords, Judgment. What do we need to know about these energies, Spirit? What do we need to know about these energies? Five of Pentacles. Difficulty, struggle, financial difficulties, being left out in the cold, abandoned. Four of Wands, interesting. I, feel, I heard doghouse. Someone could be in the doghouse. <laughs> Tell me about the Two of Swords and Judgment. Like literally someone being outside, locked outside of their house. And the Ace of Pentacles. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you and this person have some sort of history, Leo, where you doubt their intentions now. 
you're not sure if you can trust them but at the same time i feel like you can't stop this connection either there's a back and forth energy here two of pentacles two of swords maybe you're just not sure what to think about this person you don't know who to trust you don't know you maybe your heart is fighting with your logic because i feel like someone's coming to you asking for a second chance or maybe they're telling you that they're really sorry about something and they seem very genuine and i think um it's almost like you're questioning if you should i don't know it's almost like you doubt your own judgment possibly here or you go back and forth you know depending on what day or what your mood is But this Ace of Pentacles is telling me that this person is trying to, like, extend an olive branch here. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles and the Magician. This is what they wish they could tell you. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles and the Magician, please. Nine of Swords. Okay, I'm hearing this energy. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this won't resonate for every Leo, because not every Leo reading is obviously going to be for you. But I feel like this is somebody that's saying, don't worry about that. Don't worry about them. I'm taking care of that. Tell me about the Magician and the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Magician and the Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. There's someone else here. I think that's the problem. There could have been infidelity here. Yep, Two of Swords. This is the problem. This is the block. Oh, I just dropped that on the floor. What was that? Page of Cups. Yes. I think someone's apologizing. Um, for an interference or like another person or infidelity or something like that there's the moon pisces energy you're not getting every all the answers that you want the answers are not satisfactory like you're not satisfied with what you're hearing and that's kind of the problem because it's like you understand that they're sorry and you understand that maybe they're what they're saying is there's there could be a lot of truth to it but you're not satisfied yeah, the hermit again. Because this person's withdrawn. They've, they're not very, this could be somebody that's not very, um, like they don't communicate well, or they're not a big talker. Maybe they are very careful with their words. Maybe you feel like you have to like pry things out of them. <laughs> um, so there's, you know, there's a level of like frustration because they're asking for you to trust them or to not make a big deal of, about something that's probably over. Like for example, if there, this was infidelity, maybe they are no longer seeing that person, so they don't understand the issue, right? Or uh, if this third party interference is like a parent, for example, I'll take care of the parent. I won't. You don't have to get involved, so you no need to bring it up. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So what are their intentions for the future? The Hermit and the Seven of Swords. Why is the Hermit and the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Hermit with the Seven of Swords here? Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Hermit and the Seven of Swords, please. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Tell me about the Hermit and the Seven of Swords. King of Cups. It's tough because I feel, yeah, Knight of Cups. I think that what's happening here is that this person, and there's the Hermit again. The chemistry between you might be really strong. Maybe you have a long history with each other. Maybe there's love between you, right? But that's the problem because it's in, it's interfering with your decision making because this person is not telling you everything that you need to know you're not going to be satisfied with what they have to tell you and they're not going to be opening up anytime soon because their intentions are to not tell you what you want to know 
I think they're doing it because they want to avoid more problems. Maybe they're trying to just move on. Uh, they don't want you to keep thinking about this because it causes more problems for them. And so it's like they're wanting to just seal it shut and not deal with it anymore. Like, let's move on. Let's leave the past in the past. Don't bring it up again. I care about you. Isn't that what matters the most that I'm truly sorry? That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. And if that's resonating for you, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, what messages does this person have for Leo? What messages? I'm taking action. What messages does this person have for Leo? I'm not giving up. I'm going to get one more. What messages does this person have for Leo? I don't know what to do. I'm taking action is very interesting because it matches the taking action card here that we have. So this person is going to take some sort of action. I think it's communication from what I've seen so far. The Page of Cups came out with um, the Knight of Cups here. I'm heartbroken at the bottom of the deck because they're in the doghouse. This person, I feel like you, whatever they did, you weren't able to just forgive and move on. Maybe you were able to do that in the past, but you can't do that now. Or maybe what they did was just so unforgivable, unforgivable that you're, you've drawn a line in the sand. And um, I think that's why they want to move past it. I bury myself in work to forget you. I think this person's trying to distract themselves right now. We will be together again. I wish I could take back my words and I want to tell you how I feel. I think this is what they're just going to come to you, to you to tell you in the apology. I wish I hadn't said what I said. Um, we're going to get back together and I'll tell you, you know, how I feel or whatever. Or I want to tell you how I feel, but I don't know how. Let me clarify this taking action. Tell me about taking action. What is What do we need to know about this, Spirit? What do we need to know about this taking action energy? Six of Wands, success, victory, recognition. Tell me about taking action. What do we need to know about taking action? Knight of Wands. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, and there's the world. This person, the action that they're going to take is to come talk to you about this, about being together again, about moving past this. It's, it's communication. And they're going to say something like, I want to talk about what happened, which to you might be like, what? You actually want to talk? You are actually going to tell me how you feel? I think they're going to tell you just enough to give you a little satisfaction they're not going to tell you everything i don't think they know how honestly and they're taking action because they know that they have to do something like demonstrate something in the form of action for you to even take them seriously because they've lost your trust or they just they don't have the pull that they once had And I think for a long time, they probably pretended like this didn't affect them. The fact that you weren't interested anymore or that you called them out for the first time or for the last time, who knows? Um, they were like, okay, well, screw you. I don't need you. That's not true. That's not true. Because right now they're like, I don't know what to do. And I wish I could take back my words. Yeah, because what they did was unforgivable to an extent or, or even worse, unforgettable. <laughs> what they did like you're not going to be able to forget what they've done so now they have to really be creative and figure this out so that's what i have for you leo hopefully you enjoyed this reading if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you 
and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.